Hello everyone. In this session we are going to discuss HTML form. A form is just another kind of HTML tag, but it is generally used to create GUIs in a web page. Usually the purpose uh, purpose of the form is to ask the user for the information. The information is then sent back to the server to further process. A form is an area that can contain form elements. The basic syntax of the form tag is form then some parameters we are using we are going to use attributes to set the parameters and inside the start form and close form we are having a form elements a form element includes buttons checkbox text field uh, radio buttons drop downs and many things it also consists uh, other HTML tags like table tag and all the other tags we can use inside the form tag. A form is usually contains a submit button which is used to send the data to the server. The forms parameter tells the browser how and where to send the data. There are mainly two methods get and post we are going to discuss in detail. The form tag like this way we can set the argument and inside that we are going to set the form elements. The form argument tells us how and what we want to transfer. For example, we can specify action where we want to send the data, right? And a method using which we want to send the data. There are two main things. One is a get and one is a post get is a default method if we don't specify the method it will send the data using get method generally when we are using uh, get method the data will be passed through a query string and the url will be appended with the question mark and the data of the form and it will it can only transmit the data which are ascii and not more than 1024 characters the method post whereas the method post form data is sent in the body of the request and cannot be bookmarked whereas the get method can be bookmarked next is a target we can also set the targets like we can set target equal to blank so when we click on the button it will send the data and will and the output will be opened in a new tab and if you specify target equal to underscore top, that means it will send the data to the same window. Input tags. So these all are the elements which can be there inside the form tag. First, we can have a text fields where we can enter the text. For example, enter your name and we can specify our name inside that input. So to create such input, we can specify like input type equal to text and you can specify something inside that particular element to enter the password we we, we don't want to display what we have entered for that we, all, we have one field named password field the same syntax input type equal to password the only difference is here input type equal to text and here input type equal to password so it won't display whatever we have written next is the radio buttons we can create radio buttons using input type equal to radio and a name the name of the same group should be the same for example we want to choose only one element from male and female then we can use radio but the only condition is the name of these two radios should be the same then and then it will allow only one from these two. You have seen such elements in the web pages where you can only select one of them. To do so, we have to specify the same name. Next is the checkboxes. We can, uh, when we want to allow one or more options to be checked, we should use checkbox. In this case, it is not compulsory to have a same name. 
and the output would be something like these are squared boxes or check boxes around is a radio buttons let's see an example which consists of only these four input elements so what we are going to do we are going to create a new file and going to save it as a form sorry form dot html this is the html file only so we have to write all this code html head and body and all inside the body we can write a form tag a starting form and a closing form inside the form we can write all the elements which we have seen the last four elements is input type equal to text you can create input type equal to text let's save and run the that particular file so here is an element where we can write the content the input which will be displayed a text field same way if i don't want to display this particular part i can create a new input which is of type password and if i refresh the page here is a in text field so i can write and the content will be displayed here also it will be we can write the data but the content of this particular data won't be displayed because it is a password field so input type equal to text and input type equal to password if i want this particular password in a new line i simply can write a br tag or one more br just to separate them this is the text field and this is password field next is the radios for example the same we want to have a male or female to choose between male or female we want to have input type equal to radio and i am specifying male i am writing a male and again i am writing input type equal to radio and female well so it will be displayed something like this two radio buttons one is for male and one is for female i am selecting a male and i am selecting a female as you can see we can select both of them also as i already said if we want to allow only one to be selected we have to give a same name to the elements for example i am giving it as a gender name equal to gender and the same name i am specifying to the this radio so now if i select male and then female male will be automatically deselected only one of them i can select but if i want to allow more uh, one or more to be selected for example your favorite food in this particular case it can be possible that you have one or more to be selected input type equal to checkbox i don't want to say, uh, name it. it it's fine if i don't want to name it as of now i'm saying pizza and i want to have an in a new line so i'm specifying a br ready i'm specifying three check boxes in this particular case it will be a squared boxes which you can check so this is the text input type equal to text this is input type equal to password this is input type equal to radio and this is input type equal to checkbox next we are going to see drop down list sometime you want to provide a list from where user can select one for that you, we are going to, uh, we need to use a select tag inside the select tag there will be options where we can specify the options for that particular list let's see an example we are writing a select tag and a closing select tag inside that 
we are specifying options for example we want to have a list of uh, cities from which you can select one city then we can write like this select tag slash select inside that we are providing three options to users first is rajkot second is ahmedabad and third is surat and if user select rajkot what we want to transfer is with what we are going to write in a value so when we select rajkot the data which will be passed will be one if user select ahmedabad the uh, value which will be transferred to the server will be 2 and if we uh, if user specify surat the value would be 3 let's see how we can implement is here after here uh, like pasta we are specifying one more br and then we are giving a select take options to the users what are the options for example male and female same thing we want to specify with a drop down menu then we can write like this male and another option is a female right select tag inside the select there are options and we can choose any of these uh, option from the select ready so you have seen some uh, such uh, elements in the web in many websites this is called a, a drop down and we can use a select tag to create such tags so male or female I can select male or female or you can do one more thing if you don't want to set male as a default you can set select gender so the default would be select gender and if you select male it will be male and female sometime you also need to do like this the, your first option is select gender but by default you want to have as a female selected as a female so here you can simply write selected equal to selected the option with selected equal to selected will be would be by default selected when I refresh it would be by default selected if I give the same option select equal to select in a male by default selection would be male so for this session we are keeping these five particular inputs one is a text one is a password next is a radio then checkbox and select tag which is a drop down inside select we can write options thank you